Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I literally just had the idea of doing another one of these like probably like an hour ago just because my bag is so, so cluttered that it's getting ridiculous and I kind of needed to clear it out. So I thought I'd just sit down and film it for you guys. I feel like this one potentially may not be as interesting as the other ones, but nevertheless, I thought I would just go through it with you guys and we can clean it out together. So obviously by the title, this is a what's in my bag. I'm also gonna clear out my wallet because there is a shit ton of receipts and stuff in there that I just need to get rid of. And also, if you can't already tell by the current light situation, I am filming this in the evening. It is currently 7 o'clock. I've got a little bit of extra time now and I kind of wanted to spend it filming. And also, if you can hear the washing machine in the background, I am sorry, but I need to wash my clothes. This is my bag that I use every single day. Um, so this is the same bag that I had in my last What's In My Bag, which if you haven't seen my playlist for that, I'll link that down below as well. It is just a Coach 1941 designer bag. It has the little, what do you call these, little hardware bits on the bottom. It's just this gorgeous kind of grey and black print. I really, really love this bag. I actually found it at an op shop for $10. And I hate to think how much this bag would cost new. This is currently what it looks like on the inside. So there's just a whole lot of crap. There's a lot of like big pockets as well that I'm going to go through. But I guess I'll kind of show you the bag a little bit more at the end once everything is all cleared out. So the first thing that I always carry around in my bag is actually my camera that I'm filming on at the moment. I'm filming on the Canon G7X Mark II. So it's the camera that I use to vlog and it's the one that I always keep in my bag just in case there are moments when I want to vlog. My keys. So I just keep my keys on this little New Zealand wine lanyard just because it makes them so easy to find. And like when I'm getting petrol or whatever, I can just like chuck this over my head, get petrol and then it's just like a really quick, easy on the go kind of thing. My key rings, I have this little pom pom -y thing. It's just blue and pink. I think I picked this up from Supre a while back. Um, so on here, I only just have my car key. I have this little like faux pink glass. I also have this little $20 note key ring just because I think it's cute. And then I have my keyring that Phil got me a while ago. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but it's just pink. It has little gold leaf foiling and it just says I love you in gold with a little gold heart. Next thing in here is my wallet. So this is actually a new one. I actually received this for Christmas last year and I have done a whole what I got for Christmas video so if you haven't seen that I'll link it down below. I think I'll go through this in a second once I've emptied out like the main part of my bag. My book that I'm currently reading at the moment every time I pull this out my boss just like laughs at me and is like how can you read a book that big like it's so thick which it is but I mean it's Harry Potter so. So I'm currently reading the fourth Harry Potter book this is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've been trying to get through them I am this far through it so I've still got all of this left but I've made a good dent. I am up to page 235. I'm on chapter 16. I really really love the Harry Potter books so far. I have my pill that I take. Safety first. A little docket book that I use for work so I work in hospo so I need these. They are so so handy to get. Three pens. I actually need to chuck this one out because this one is useless in the little like belt tippy thing is actually broken. Pens are always the one thing that people run out of. A whole lot of just like random dockets and stuff that just need to be thrown out really. This little like jewelry box. Now I had this in my last what's in my bag and I always keep a spare nose ring in here. So it's just a little rose gold one that I got from Pierce it when I got my nose pierced. And I always keep a spare belly button bar in there. Don't know why but just do, just in case they kind of come loose or they break or whatever. So, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this in here. So I have a little hairspray pamphlet thing from when Phil and I went to go and see hairspray. So it was put on by 
two schools. If any of the actors or actresses that were in this play watch these videos, comment down below because you guys were amazing. I have a little coffee pamphlet that I keep in my bag just in case. I don't know how to make one of the coffees at work. It's another docket. Oh my gosh, Phil was asking the other day if I had these in my bag and I said no. Headphones! I normally don't have headphones in my bag recently, but I must have just put these ones in there. Because Phil was looking for these the other day, and I said I had no idea where they were. And he's like, did you put them in your bag? And I'm like, no. Like, I don't usually put them in there. I have my little name tag for work. Oh my gosh, another two pens. Okay, I do not need this many pens in my bag. So I'm going to test out which ones work and which ones don't, and then get rid of the ones that don't. I have a little pack of tissues in here. These ones you can get from Cotton On or Typo and they're only like a dollar. Really, really good handbag size and I find they always come in handy. I have a little hair tie. And then the last thing that I have in this kind of like big pocket, a little scratch card. This one was unsuccessful. I had two 10,000s and two 100s. So I could have potentially won a hundred or ten thousand dollars, but I did not. So that sucks, but oh well this is the main pocket in my bag so i do need to give it a good shake out on the balcony after i finish this um but it has two little side pockets in here so i'm gonna do those next i have four usbs i don't know why i keep all of them in here but i just put like extra like video footage and i've got like heaps and heaps of photos on those as well and the last thing i have in here is my mac lipstick so this is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Feel So Grand. This stuff is so, so good. This was my Christmas lipstick last year. It's just a liquid lipstick and it stays put, man. Once you put this on, it is not coming off. I can go like that and it doesn't come off on my hand. You can eat, you can drink. You can pretty much like kiss your boyfriend and it's fine. Some days I've worn this the entire day and not touched it up and it looks like I've freshly applied it. So these are great. They are expensive but in my opinion they are worth the money. I've got a little zip pocket in the main pocket. So that's where it has the little description-y thing on here. It just says this is a coach bag. It was handcrafted from the finest materials trimmed with leather its superior craftsmanship and attention to detail reflect our commitment to enduring quality and here i just have some earrings that i bought from lavisa that broke that i never got to wear so i kind of keep them in here just in case i end up super gluing them but, but they were really cute and i was really bummed because normally my lavisa earrings don't break like four hair ties five hair ties i have an array of bobby pins i have an sd card that i just changed out of this camera to put my other one in that's everything like in the main pocket and then in like any of the little pockets and now i'm gonna do this one on the side a little like notepad book thing that i draw pictures in or i write stuff in but i haven't written in this journal in ages i kind of got it for when i was in like a bad place so i could kind of like write down like all my thoughts and stuff i have a couple of pamphlets for my beauty therapist's place oh wait what are we in oh no this is an old card i was gonna say oh is this my next appointment but no this is an old appointment card so i can go in the bin now because that appointment has been was everything in that main pocket and now i'm going into the other side pockets a little time of the month or emergency kind of kit i guess um this bag is from you by kotex i always keep them in my bag because if it's not your time of the month chances are it's someone else's and there have been so many times where i have helped other people out and where other people have helped me if i haven't been prepared i have a little glasses case from supre and then I just have these rose gold sunglasses. I bought these a few years ago. They're like really reflective and they're really cute. They're kind of getting a little bit loose and I do really, really like the style. A body shop hand cream that I am almost out of. This is the Frosted Berries one. These last for so, so long and they are so, so good. So if you don't have one of these already, make sure you go and get one because they're only like $10. And I have like five in my drawer and I've gone through so many of them. Some toothy tabs from Lush. You can use this um, as a substitute for toothpaste I believe so they kind of just stay in my bag. 
I have another pen. Oh my gosh, there's so many pens. Oh my gosh, li literally another pen. Why am I the crazy pen lady? I don't understand. Well guys, if you need a pen, you know where to get one. This next item I have had in my bag for the longest time. I have this little fold up hairbrush. I got this when I was really, really young, so it's slowly falling apart. It's just from the Wellington Zoo. It has a little mirror there and then the little fold up hairbrush part. A sanitizer from Palm Olive. This is just the sweet pea one. I really like the Palm Olive um, hand washes. I've currently got one in my bathroom that's like the foaming raspberry one and I love that one. And I've got one in my kitchen that is the lemony one, the yellow one. A spare toothbrush just in case I go somewhere and we spontaneously decide to stay the night or whatever, then I have a toothbrush handy. The last thing in that pocket and the last thing in my bag is this little passion fruit lip balm from Lush. There's also, oh my gosh, I have stuff in this pocket at the back. I didn't know I had stuff in this pocket. I lie. So I have another pack of tissues and some serviettes. So yeah, that was that back pocket as well. So. I don't think there's anything in this front one. No, and then that front one is also a pocket. So you won't be short of space on a bag like this, which is good because I always carry so much shit in my bag. It's everything in my bag. If you want to stay tuned for the rest of the video where I go through my wallet, then just keep watching. This wallet was given to me for Christmas from one of my uncles. It's the Meraki brand. It just has a little thing on the back. It has gorgeous colours, just like a tan, a white, and like a brown. It has this little circular, and the back is just cream, and I just think it looks so sophisticated. This is the current state of my wallet. I think I'll go through all my cards first. It will just be like receipts and stuff. So I've got this side, and then this side, and then I also keep a couple of ones in the middle. All my money cards, New World Club card, which gets you great discounts at New World. So if you shop at New World and you don't have one of those cards, you need to go and get one. I have my AA Smart Fuel card, which helps you get discounts on petrol. My Farmer's Club card, which is great. You get great discounts and you also get like little birthday perks and little vouchers and stuff if you spend a certain amount of money. My Breakers card that I am 100% sure is not active anymore. Wild Bean Coffee card. Cotton On & Co Perks card, which I actually use quite a bit. Library card, which has expired and I need to get a new one. I hardly ever go to the library now. Like I used to go to the the library all the time back in the day but now I just like read books that I actually have on my bookshelf. Body shop loyalty card, I have my living rewards card for pharmacies, club natural card that I've never used and probably will never use and I have my sub card. The cards that I have in the middle are my license which I'm on my restricted in case anyone is curious. There's a Meraki card that obviously came with the wallet that I've not taken out. IRD card. Those are all of the cards that I have in here. So then the rest of the stuff in here is just like receipts and random loyalty cards and random business cards. My voucher that the ink is actually fading a lot on here. But it is the leftover of my Briscoe's voucher that I got for my birthday. If you haven't seen my 21st birthday presents, I'll also link that video down below. A scratchy that I actually won. A free scratchy. Like, there was like another, another like $1 like free ticket. I need to go in and claim that. But I keep forgetting. I have a grab one food and beverages voucher that I also got for my 21st birthday that I have not used yet. Movie tickets for Spider-Man Far From Home. I have mixed feelings about this. Like I really really liked the technology that they used but I feel like the overall movie itself was just a bit like boring to be honest. Shopping list. So this was my most recent. So I had honey, coffee, a loaf of bread, bin bags, porridge, chicken, biscuits, bread rolls and cream for mum and then some wine for Shawi's birthday to celebrate. Have our two little hairspray tickets, business card for Lone Star. Uh, speaking of Lone Star, I have a 
receipt from Lone Star for two house-made lemon lime and bitters. Another New World receipt that I spent $123.18. I have another New World receipt the tell us how we did and be in to win a $500 gift card. Subway receipt. This one is from Kmart for the navy cushion, the two pizza trays and the hexagon mirror and I spent $30. So the cushion was $4, the two pizza trays were $6 each so that came to $12 and the hexagon mirror was $14. Ooh, I have another shopping list. New World receipt that I spent $85 on. Oh, I have another Kmart receipt. So this just shows you how much I go into Kmart. This is just the plant and pouch, which I mentioned in my favorites video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below because I think that will be up by the time you guys watch this. So that was just $7. Such a waste of paper just printing out that long of a receipt just for one item. I have another New World shopping list where I spent $96.25 Oh my gosh, I have yet another Kmart receipt. Yo, I need to stop. I need to stop going into Kmart. So this time I got three items. So it says, oh, I was like, tassel? What? This was for my tassel earrings. So I got the tassel earrings, the merino head wrap, which is like that little merino headband that I bought in my haul. If you haven't seen that haul, I'll link that down below. And the lift and shape jeans which are like the high-waisted jeans. My tickets for Toy Story 4 which I absolutely loved. Great movie. More Reading Cinemas tickets. This one was for The Secret Life of Pets 2. Again that was a really really good movie. I loved the first one so I knew as soon as they were making a second one that I had to go and see it and I think I even liked it a little bit more than the first one. Like, it was still really, really funny. The storyline was really, really cute. I have another couple of receipts. So I have one for the body shop. Yo, this is a huge receipt for just one item. This was for my friend's birthday present. So I just got her, like, a little kit of, like, shower stuff. $5 note, dollars a little CPR instructions thing, which I always keep in my wallet. $8 Red Cross op shop receipt. So again, I have another beauty appointment. See how another Kmart receipt. This was for the, what? Oh, I know what this was for. The felt three pack of drawers. So those are the ones that are like up the top of my wardrobe. They were $7. Another shopping list. Another New World receipt and another fuel up. This is another New World receipt that I spent $87.62. Business cards. Specific tattoo and pierce. A building one. An orthodontics. The doctors, a panel and paint car thing, Gawler foundation, but this just has like a yoga thing on it. Two hair salons, the bank, another salon, another bank one, farmers, the Nikki Thompson design jewelry, another jewelry one, another car place, and that's all my business cards. I have another receipt for yet again, guess what it is? Kmart. The tassel earrings and the men's slipper boot. So that's what I bought my friend for his 21st because he said he wanted slippers. So I got him slippers. I have all my loyalty cards. So I have a chalk and cheese cafe, one free coffee, charity shop loyalty card, pierce it loyalty card, which I keep forgetting to get stamped, two Starbucks cards. Another Kmart receipt. Four float glasses, salt and pepper shakers, a fry pan, oh, two of those actually, and the drinks trolley. But I was like, why does it say Rebel Sport? I haven't bought anything at Rebel Sport. I have a Briscoe's one for my magic bullet. I have a warehouse receipt for two Living & Co things. They're like $2 and $5. So I'm guessing that was our little dish brush and a whisk. Harry Potter movie, something else that was $39 that I can't remember what it was. And our bar stools, which were $59 each. So, oh, I know what it was. The other thing, it was Phil's sweatpants. I spent $171. I have another Briscoe's receipt, which is for the mustard cushion that I have in my living room. I have yet another New World receipt where I spent $125.72. I have a pack and save receipt for jumbo bag milk chocolate. That must have been M&M's. We always go to pack and save and get M&M's before we go to the movies. Because like pack and save is like right across from the movies. And at the movies they charge you like 
seven or eight dollars for like a 350 gram of M&Ms and I'm like girl I ain't about that life world receipt another new world receipt here we go that is absolutely everything that is in my wallet so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you are new then I just want to say hey and welcome to my channel hope you decide to stick around and join our family here on this channel We'd love to have you come along with us. Make sure you guys turn on the notifications, which is just the little bell next to the subscribe button. And just make sure you get notified every time I upload a video because YouTube doesn't always tell you now when people that you're subscribed to upload unless you have that notification bell turned on. Just check out my social media. It's all linked down below in the description box. Also, make sure you check out my other What's In My Bag videos if you haven't already seen them. Again, the playlist is linked down below in the description. And I think that's everything. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm going to just close the door so that you can't hear the washing machine. That washing machine is so loud. My jeans are dicking into me. <coughs> oh, this case thing needs a wash. Glasses. Glasses? Oh my gosh, this tin is like inverted itself. Oh dear. Oh, well, hopefully it will still be right to use. My battery is saying it's low, so let me just change that. Ugh, my voice is going.